Good Lord. Trump is... Woo. Uh, so let's check this out here. I saw this. And when I saw it, I was like, I hope he ain't hinting at nothing that I don't want to see. So... Everybody is talking about hostages who are being held so violently, inhumanely, and against the will of the entire world in the Middle East, but it's all talk and no action. Please let truth serve to represent that if the hostages are not released prior to January 20th, 2025, the date that I proudly assume office as president of the United States, there will be all hell to pay. Sounds like a Vince McMahon, hell in a cell promo. In the Middle East, and for those in charge who perpetuated these atrocities against humanity, those responsible will be hit harder than anybody has been hit in the the long and storied history of the United States of America. Release the hostages now. Now, what bothers me about this is he says those responsible will be hit harder than anyone else has been hit in the long storied history of the United States of America. To me, this sounds like war. And it sounds like it could be nuclear war, too. I don't like that. You, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, he says, release the hostages now. So, I'm going to see what uh, the news has to say about this. I'm hearing that uh, he punked Judo. And he told him, like, if the tariffs destroyed their economy they could become the 51st state of the, of the United States <laughs> oh my god Donald Trump isn't even president yet and he's already smacking world leaders into place Canadian where the hell is that at he looks real relaxed <laughs> where the hell is that at Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau immediately flew down to Mar-a-Lago to have dinner with the president-elect just days after Trump threatened to slap a 25% tariff on Canada over drugs and illegal immigration. And you will absolutely love how Trump showed Trudeau who's boss. We're getting some new details about that Trump-Trudeau dinner from two people who were at the table. We are told that when Trudeau told president-elect Trump that new tariffs would kill the Canadian economy. Trump joked to him that if Canada can't survive without ripping off the U.S. to the tune of $100 billion a year, then maybe Canada should become the 51st state and Trudeau could become its governor. <laughs> Trump having some fun on Truth Social Yo. using an AI photo of himself on top of a Canadian mountain with the caption, Oh, Canada. <laughs> Meanwhile, Trump is also getting results when it comes to America's enemies. He's warning the well, terrorist organization about. Hamas mm -hmm. that there will be all hell to pay in the Middle East if they don't release hostages in Gaza before Inauguration Day. I'm just concerned about what type of hell he means. Okay, you know, um, Dana, do we know how many hostages are even alive? Uh, no, um, but we do have some indication that some are, and that means that they need to be released. And I think that it was absolutely right for President Trump to lay down the gauntlet. He actually said something like this before. I can't remember if it was in a debate or at, at some point in the campaign. So that if I win by January 20th, they all better be released. Yeah. And they knew that he meant that. Uh, I don't know how many are alive, I hope. That we can rescue more. Release um, the not hostages. Not because they're released. You know, they should be released. They should be rescued. It's interesting here too is that um, if you remember before 2016, when during that transition, there was a lot that led to an impeachment of outrage about President Trump doing anything that would be inter uh, seen as outreach. There's only one president at a time. Oh, How know. dare you do that? Well, this time, first of all, Kamala Harris has been seen once 
since the election the con concession speech that she gave and it was in that video on her schedule every single day it says meetings <laughs> meetings she's not out then you have president biden he casts the pardon and flies to africa again mm. i'm all for that trip but then he doesn't say anything and as you were pointing out like what is what is, who is in charge so i in some ways they the biden administration has just conceded the next 60 days to <laughs> president trump they're not complaining <laughs> about any of this and in fact trudeau probably would have been timid about coming to see donald trump in 2016 but there's none of that now there's a little bit of self-interest here as well there is a populist mm. strain happening all over the world and all of western civilization and i saw something on trudeau i hope that ain't true and you know what it's connected to i was like what at what party i i hope it's not true i hope it's not true because it's it's dark it is true in canada as well the last thing i would say is thank goodness they told us that was an ai photo you know jesse it's kind of interesting that uh world leaders they're like all falling into place i mean the president well, of Mexico i told y'all before two hours i think or maybe it was trudeau when trudeau flies down to mar-a-lago and interesting speaking about um uh uh, uh, France, I mean, you've got uh, the president of France, not Macron. Trudeau, um, Macron. Macron, inviting. I Donald feel like these next four years are going to be nothing but. Go ahead, I dare you. Go ahead. What did I? What did I say? What did I say? Huh? And then go ahead, I dare you. Tr try it. it. Ain't gonna be nothing but four years of that. <laughs> Nothing but that to all these world leaders, <laughs> or at least the beginning few months, it sounds like, as he's rounding everybody up, getting everybody in place. Donald Trump and not right. Joe Biden to the opening of the Notre Dame Cathedral on December 8th. It, the, even the world is already uh, treating him like he's president. Well, Macron invited the real president, Dr. Jill. <laughs> She'll be there. <laughs> it's great. I mean, Trump's about to take over Canada and Biden's lost in Africa. I've never seen anything like this before. And no one's really shocked. Everybody's only saying that she's not a, the real doctor. So, so, so what does she do? She, you know, cause, you know, you, oh, excuse me. I have to get a certain few pieces of paper from school, from higher learning. You know, you get to be a doctor, whether you're a doctor or not, you know, you might not be an MD. <laughs> But you might have your doctorate in something. So I'm like, because people are always saying she's not a doctor. Why well, do they keep saying she's a doctor? Is she? Does she truly not a doctor in any way, shape, or form? I, I haven't decided to look into it. Maybe I should look it up. It, this is so a lot of these things come to mind while I'm doing videos, not when I'm not doing videos. That's why I asked you guys to help me out, because y'all, a lot of y'all, y'all know little tidbits I don't know. Happening? I am so supportive of making Trudeau governor. I've never been more excited by anything in my entire life. And let's just be clear, we're not going to make Canada the 51st state. We'll make it 51 and 52. You make Western Canada, that'll be Republican. Eastern Canada, that'll be Democrat. So you keep the electoral balance there. So many reasons to make this a state. Uh, it's the, I think it has the third largest oil. Wouldn't that be insane if it really did happen? reserves in the world oh wow so that a makes lot. us a energy behemoth uh it's the most well-educated country mm -hmm. in the world because we need a little help in that department uh talk about mining agriculture fishing ai tech real estate canada you name it they got it we'll never probably lose another winter olympics we'll have <laughs> all of their skaters and skiers <laughs> i mean good luck sweden <laughs> And they share our cultural heritage. They share our language. It's just a no brainer. Now, I don't know if Canada is going to go along with it, but there's ways to maybe <laughs> change their opinion. <laughs> Do you want to end there? I like it there. I think it's, I think it's, it's a good army. idea. The, you the know, army's minuscule, but that's fine. Everybody laughing but the black dude. He's just sitting there. <laughs> fine. We'll pay to protect them as a state. Uh, but we're body? doubling the size of the country, America. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Thank you, Jesse. Add two stars, right, Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> Talk about the art of the deal. 
at this yeah. level. I mean, the world leaders are all falling into place. And this is a president who doesn't believe in compromise. I mean, he's acting on this America first, basically mm -hmm. saying to Trudeau in Canada, you know, uh, your economy can't survive unless you <laughs> rip us off to a hundred yeah. uh, billion dollars. Too bad. Yeah. And the funniest part of it is that Trudeau thought that his best argument against... How are they ripping us off? I heard something with uh, immigration, just problems with Canada, too. I didn't know that. So maybe that's it. Trump was that, but that will crater our economy. Yeah. <laughs> and Trump is looking at him and he's going, yeah, exactly. That's yeah, my that's point. <laughs> and then offers a, 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 I think it was kind of a figly, a, you know, a, a peace offering by saying, look, we'll just make you a state and everything will be great. But I mean, it, we're 10 years in. This guy has been on the public scene uh, as president or candidate for, for almost 10 years now. And the guy is still doing, this may be the Trumpiest Trumpian thing the guy has ever done. Yes. And it's 10 years in. Who has that kind of staying power and that ability to like blow people's minds 10 years in? And 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 at the heart of it, and people will freak out, I'm sure. Although it is interesting. I feel like the freak out is a little bit um, freak out, like freak like out, freak now, out. So there, there's not quite the freak out that there was in, you know in the early days of, of his Trump stuff. But the at the heart of it, as you pointed out is something that makes a lot of sense. He's trying to get something done and he's being a funny guy. He's being a little bit of a bully and he's getting something done. Yeah, That's he's, for America. He's he's always been a kind of an entertainer. I mean, he's, he's really, yeah. he's of that ilk. But you know, isn't it interesting, Richard, that you know, he's a dictator and he's a fascist and he, oh, he's all these horrible things. Mm -hmm. And yet he opens his home to Joe and Mika and uh, you know, Zuckerberg gave, I think it was 400 million uh, to Biden and he opens his home up to Zuckerberg and it just goes on and on. What a fascist, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I didn't call him a fascist. Uh, to one point to Jesse, though, uh, hopefully we take a socialized medicine as well. No. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh, that's where we end. In fact, that, we can save them from 18,000 weeks of waiting. Or, or, yes, or they're yeah, subsidized, exactly. or subsidized colleges and universities, whether they're smarter, but they, you know. Well, they they're already they're, all come down here so, for healthcare. Uh, anyway. But let's yeah. get to your to your point, because listen, I, there's a, there's a part of me, part of me that actually agrees with you. I, I do think yeah. that. Um, you know, I think there's a, there's a there's a point in this where Democrats have to acknowledge that Trump is going to be the incoming president, right? So the hysteria has to sort of go away, and we got to figure out how do you deal. And there's something that you can learn from some of these foreign leaders who are saying, "Listen, we're going to try to work with what we have." And I think Trump has given us a lot of material to work with here. There's things that we agree with Trump on. Case in point, he said there's no tax on tips. So I think Democrats, if they were smart in this moment, would write a bill for no tax on tips. He said that he wants to cap credit cards to 10 percent. Democrats are out a bill saying let's cap credit cards to 10 percent. He says he wants to wind down reckless spending at the Pentagon. Bernie Sanders has been talking about that since he's been in Congress, and that's been longer than I've been alive. Mm. So Democrats are out a bill about that and put these bills on the floor on day one and say Republicans, many of them who disagree with many of these things, mm. pass these bills because the, your president wants them. So let's go. We want these things. Let's get them done. It's not a bad point. Okay. <laughs> Click here to subscribe. <laughs> well, folks. What do you think? Hmm? And what do you think about that quote? Do you think I should be alarmed with that wording? Yes or no? See, as much as I like Trump, I always tell you the truth. If I'm worried about something, something bothers me that he says, or you know what I mean? 10 million subscribers.